Hello, thank you for joining me on the Journey with Nicole YouTube channel. Today we have a general timeless reading. We're mostly bringing in crystal energy. So we have the liquid crystal deck, eternal crystal deck, and the crystal deck by Amanda. So we have court, clear quartz here. We've got smoky quartz. We've got some black tourmaline, garnet, clear quartz, and some amethyst. That's all surrounding our beautiful fire and our beautiful crystal energy we have going on right now. I've already pre-shuffled the cards. We're going to ask Spirit, the cards, and your higher self, what messages do we have today? Thank you for being here. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please go down and make sure that that subscribe is not red. It needs to be gray. It needs to be gray. So go ahead and hit the subscribe and I would really appreciate if you could hit the like button for me. Thank you so much. Let's get going. What messages do we have for us today? We're gonna start with the liquid crystal deck. So I've already pre-shuffled, just freshening everything up here. There we go. Let's pick the first card here. Chrysoprase. This is about being fearless. We'll put that right there. It's um, with the heart chakra. It opens the heart chakra and uh, gives us the confidence and security in ourselves to be able to move forward. And anytime the chrysoprase comes up, it is an actual specific moment that you need to be fearless. It's not in general. It's about a specific situation that is either in your present situation or is about to be in your present situation where you are going to need fearlessness. That's all it is. So we've got Ruby, the spiritual warrior. So chances are we've got a situation that's going to be coming up that's going to require some intense... Um, some intense observation... There might be, um, in your spiritual journey, it looks like something is going to be challenging you and you're going to have to break through to a, it's like a, a new growth pattern for you. You're, you want to grow, but you're scared. You've got a lot of fear. And uh, the spiritual warrior with the ruby is here to give you the confidence because this is one of the strongest crystals in the liquid crystal deck because it's all about fearlessness. In fact, I have one of my ruby rocks with me here. So you can see right here, that's ruby. I carry this with me practically every day. And when I'm trying to move forward in something and I need, need guidance of something, I've got this rock with me. The ruby is also a heart, um, it deals with the heart chakra. This is ruby and zoisite. So this is like a double whammy for, for the heart chakra. But with two heart chakra energies coming up, that chances are it's, it's something that is going to go deep. This isn't uh, necessarily a light situation. This is something that you've needed to deal with for quite a while. And this crystal energy wants to come to you to be able to help you with this moment where you need to be fearless and basically be the warrior. So they're kind of two cards in the same. We're going to pull in some Star and Tarot. Just see what kind of messages we have from the Star and Tarot. And then we'll get back to some of the crystal energy. Four of Swords. Four of Swords is all about taking the time to meditate. Go back. Relax. You have some decisions that you're going to need to make. And I mean, this is not action. This is, you need to just calm yourself down see how centered this card is. And he's centered in his thinking, he or she. And it's coming, and do you see how it's coming straight down to the heart chakra right here? This is where you get aligned. You get your alignment. You calm yourself. You meditate. And of course, it's um, got some fire energy there. So meditation, fearlessness, spiritual warrior. What messages do we have here? What messages do we have for us today? King of Swords. So we've got sword energy, 
This is uh, very much about um, some intellect, some, um, you're gonna, you need some strategies. There's some kind of, here, let me show you this card real quick. King of Swords, all about making, having that power. See how on his breastplate there in the heart, he's has the power, has ever, the sternness, the confidence. I mean, he looks like a spiritual warrior. Hmm. It's like kind of a big decision. It's almost like you kind of have just found something out or something, some new information you've received and you haven't quite, it's like you don't want to move forward with uh, going further into it for some reason. You have this fear of moving forward with the information you've received. And I think that's why the Four of Swords is here. And you don't have to move immediately and that quick. Maybe it's best to develop your strategy with the King of Swords energy. Get your meditation and your calm mind in order and then take on your ruby spiritual warrior energy to move forward with the fearlessness of the decision that you have to make. And then you have the King of Cups. Hmm. So we've got some emotions going on and we've got two kings. And look, look at the top of his head there. Do you see that? See that lightning bolt? It's like all about getting the, getting the energy in alignment and you can see how Right here, it goes center. It's like we have this energy alignment that is needed because of all this confusion. I'm going to grab the sermon tarot and grab the king of cups real quick so you can hear that. There we go. King of cups, compassionate and kind nature, dramatic and living grandiose. Receive artistic success and believe in yourself and in others. Okay? So I won't read the long detail of it, but you get the idea here with the King of Cups. There's some emotions involved. It's, it's about, you know, being on the compassionate side, the nurturing side of things. Whereas the King of Swords, let me just read those couple words to you so you can kind of get an idea of all this very strong energy that's coming in for you. Gather all the facts is the king of swords. See how I said, like, come up with your strategy and your plan of what you need. You need to get all of your information in order. So gather all the facts. Synthesize a logical solution benefiting all. You're resilient to pain. And you use your intellect, in, intellect to grow and prosper and pursue your ideals. So this Four of Swords is asking you to take some meditation time. <coughs> pardon me. Some meditation time to get all of your... Because you have some new information that has just recently come to you. And it's a little bit overpowering with emotion because you have the King of Swords and King of Cups. So it's very strong, powerful energy that you have coming towards you and you're trying to organize all of that information in your head when really you have all this heart chakra information. So you should really be trying to channel that through your heart chakra and feel the emotions at the same time, which is where your four of swords comes in. Cause this four of swords is about, it's purely your meditation card. It's that's plain and simple. This is your meditation card. This is when you, quietly go within to resonate all of your information that you have so that you can move forward with your fearless movement with your chrysoprase energy okay i'm gonna bring in some eternal crystal cards right now add to our crystal energy See if we can get some additional oops, detail clarification. I'm going to take the one that dropped. That's obsidian. That's for protection. It's about the root chakra, which I'm very happy to see some root chakra energy come in here because we need some grounding with all of this. You've got the, a lot of emotions going on with your new information that you've received. And you have this fiery energy like you want to act, but you're 
you don't have your plan yet, you don't have all your information yet, you've got your King of Cups kind of emotion to maybe a, a little strong emotional scale. So you're being asked to meditate in a calm way and now Obsidian comes up and says, hey, you need some grounding. You need some grounding. So let me pull in, I've got a piece of Obsidian right here. Here's a black obsidian. It's very powerful, protecting. Um, it's very similar to black tourmaline, which is right here. So it's a great, great grounding energy. So, whoops. All right, let's just take that one then. Oh, citrine, which is one of my favorites. Hello, abundance. So now this is also about creativity. So... We have one, two, we have three cards here that are bringing up creativity. So we can't ignore the fact that there's probably many artists that are uh, watching this, many um, um, writers, artists, painters, movie people, producers, anything on the creative aspect, jewelry makers anything along that line, any of the creativity that you can think of, photography, you're definitely being called in that direction if, if this resonates with you because citrine only comes up when there's a successful art project. At least from this deck, in this deck, this card only comes up when there's been a successful art project or art creativity project. So I'm going to put that right here and I, I'm going to, let me see if I got my citrine. Oh, I do. Here's, this is actually raw citrine. So I love my raw citrine. See how that is? Okay. We'll just put that right next to it. It's always good to bring in the crystal energy when the cards come up. It's like a double whammy. It's kind of like adding a clear quartz right here to it. Anytime you've got clear quartz next to your crystals, it's like a magnifier. It magnifies it. It mirrors and magnifies so make sure you stay grounded and, and stay with that. This all might be a little very exciting with this. Um, it's very exciting energy here. This isn't, this is definitely not for the people that are uh, kind of bored right now. This is definitely someone that's on a mission to something. You've gotten some information and you really want to go with it and go forward with it. But you have some fears. You're going to get all your thoughts in clear motion. You're going to meditate. You're going to come up with your plan of action. You're going to ground yourself with the obsidian. The same thing. You could go hug a tree. It's the same kind of energy. You're getting rooted, getting your root chakra grounded. So now you're getting all of your chakras in alignment to get ready to go forward with this motion. Let's see what other eternal crystal card we have. Kunzite. Okay, this is interesting because this card actually in this deck does represent children. So um, there is a possibility someone is seriously thinking about extending their family and um, going on the realm of starting a new family. And with the King of Swords and King of Cups, if this does resonate with you, most likely the male of the partnership is way more on board than the female is. So now Kunzai also represents um, healing and health with addictions. So if there's any kind of um, addiction matters that you have, that is also, it because the reason is it, has, it helps two chakras. It helps your third eye and your heart chakra. So it's a very, very good healing crystal as well. So I'm going to put that right there. And I do want to pull in. I know we're doing crystal energy, but I am definitely in the animal spirit move mode right now. And I really want to pull in some animal spirit energy. So let's just shuffle up the medicine card deck here and just pull in some of you. I know this doesn't resonate with you, but for any of you that are into animal spirit... This can give you uh, overall assistance with your journey. And we have the whale energy. So, which is interesting because of the King of Cups, we have, you know, some water energy in here as well. So, if, um, first of all, the whale energy is all about nurturing, which goes right along with the King of Cups. Uh, whale energy is commitment. 
It's about um, uh, the family unit. In fact, I'll grab the book here. In so, so I really am getting a sense of family here and um, the beginning of a new family, um, the sense of some kind of extended family in some ways. I don't even know if it's like an adoption or grandchildren or something, but definitely an extended family and the whale energy is a great resource for that. I am going to read that in just a second. I want to grab one more of the, the crystal deck, the crystal deck by Amanda here. These are two sided. So when I grab mine, I know these cards. So I usually just close my eyes when I grab the card. So if you're trying to figure out what I'm doing, it's because my eyes are closed. So what kind of energy can we add to this reading? What kind of crystal energy can we add to this reading? Garnet. Hey, and Garnet's been coming up so much in my readings lately. If you've been watching, well, guess what? I have Garnet with me today, folks. Yes, I do. And if you've been watching my readings, you know how I've been whining about it. So here's the Garnet. And the garnet is about fertility, abundance, and expansion. So I'm very, very much uh, definitely guiding uh, people that are looking at extending their family and wanting a child and having a grandchild or adopting anything along those lines. This is definitely your reading. There is no doubt about it. It's almost becoming a specific reading. <laughs> so uh, the garnet is a protective stone and helps to support us during a crisis. It facilitates success in all things, particularly our ability to overcome internal and external resistance to change, which is what I talked about in the very beginning of the reading with this fearless movement. You've had something you've never had to deal with before. You have this new information. You need to have your spiritual warrior attitude to be able to go through this. So, so you're, you've got lots of support here with the garnet. I'm going to just hold the garnet up while I read this real quick. So it has a deep connection with passionate and devoted love while giving us the perception and clarity to see ourselves and others honestly. The healing uh, component of the garnet is the purifying energy works on the blood and all other fluids of the body. It, it even helps on the cellular level and re-energizes re all functioning. So it's used to um, stimulate, it's a stimulating and nourishing energy. Um... Let's see, let's see. Oh, here we go. It Therefore, it's essential for sustaining uh, sexuality and fertility. It activates all the chakras, which I think is perfect what we needed in the end of this reading is just to know that when I talked about getting all of our chakras in alignment, if we can get all our chakras in alignment here, if we can do our heavy meditating like the Four of Swords is asking us to do, and gather all of our information, be fearless with what our decision is when we get our clarity in our, in our meditation. We take on our ruby spiritual warrior attitude to move forward with this. And then we've got our king of swords and our king of cups, all this uh, wonderful dominant male energy. Doesn't necessarily mean a physical male, but it is divine male energy. And then we've got our success here with the citrine. We're grounded because we have our obsidian, either that or we went and hugged a tree. And then we've got our whale energy that's all about uh, commitment to family and a, a strong family commitment and an expansion of family and children and uh, lots of nurturing. There is so much nurturing energy in here. It's almost every one of these cards has to do with some kind of nourishing, nurturing energy. So... I think this is just an absolutely wonderful reading for you, especially if you are looking to have a child or anything along those lines. This is a very, very beautiful guiding post to move forward with your um, your next endeavor. And if it is, if you are on the border of thinking of having a child, please, this is it's time to get off the fence. You have all of your proof right here to move forward and. 
I wish you very well. Thank you all so much for joining the Journey with Nicole YouTube channel. I look forward to seeing you again and peace out.